What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. On the Wii uh, Homebrew channel here, so let's um, go to the system menu. We're going to play some NOM 1975 tonight for the Neo Geo. So, I, of course, I, I downloaded this game from the, the Wii Virtual Console uh, before they shut the, before they sh uh, closed the store down, before they shut the doors. So, this was one of two Neo Geo games I downloaded. I would have downloaded more at the time, but, you know, I mean, you all, you, you, you know, you all got, you all got so much money and you got to, you know, you got to pay bills first. So, <laughs> it was kind of one of those deals. It's like. It's like, uh, I knew they was closing the store and I had so much time. It's like, I downloaded as much as I could, but it's like, I, you know, I can't, uh, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't not pay my bills just so I can download, the, you know, some extra games. I'd love to, I'd love, you know, love to do that, but, uh, you know, you, your adult, your adult uh, self has to take over and, you know, like say, no, you, you can't, can't do that. <laughs> So anyways, Nom, Nom 1975 released to the arcades in 1990 by SNK, of course. The SNK was the, um, you know, the Neo Geo was their baby, right? So, yeah, that's what we're playing tonight. This is a third-person shooter, and I, I love me some third-person shooters. Classic Neo Geo logo, right? Intro. Summer 1975. A nightmare awaits me. Alright, yeah, no, we're gonna start a new game. Dr. R. Muckley, an ex US Army scientist, has been kidnapped by possible Northside terrorists and taken to Knox back woods. So now we, a special force unit, have been organized to rescue him. Go up the Yon River to deceive enemy guard. So yeah, third person shooter, kind of like the Punisher on the NES. Of course, better graphics though. So you got grenades in your guns. One hit and you're dead though, so that's you know that's a drawback. third-person shooter. That was always my favorite. I always liked third-person better than first. Uh. Yep, three lives and you're dead. See what I mean? It's, it's easy to die on this game. My complaint about it is your guy moves slow. You have to like push a button to like roll or run. Jeez, see what I'm saying? This Going too well. So, 
my biggest complaint, I mean, I like the graphics, I like the gameplay. My two biggest complaints is that your character moves slow and your crosshair kind of moves kind of slow. See, uh, that, and there's no way to adjust the speed of that crosshair. It's just, it's just too slow. You need to be able to move faster than that. You will die. So here's the first boss, these two. Take that thing out. Headquarters. But yeah, controlling the Wii is kind of it's kind of awkward to run and jump because you gotta push the, like the A button, and your one and two is your fire and grenade, so it's just kind of awkward to move back and forth there. Launcher now, baby. Boo, yeah. You gotta love you some rocket launchers, right? But yeah, that crosshair just moves slow. I don't like that. My biggest complaint about the game. That air control. When you rescue the girl, she helps you out until, until you lose a life. So you can't get extra points and guns and grenades. Ooh, look at this thing. Russian Hind! Russian Hind gunship! There really ain't much you can do to avoid this, getting killed by this thing. We're just gotta freaking try to... Just gotta try to waylay on the grenades while you can. Contact Allied Plane 
and invade by parachute. Enemies at five o'clock, they're gonna shoot us!
don't throw grenades at me, he's off the screen. Unlimited continues, you know, you need it in this game. Imagine playing this game on the arcade, it's like talking about a quarter muncher. Look at that, got a gun, I'm just freaking. Okay. Yeah, on this version, they, they, it's like you only get continues for so long, and then but you can save your progress and start, you know, start from where you left off as long as you hit the memory card save. And, the, and you load it from there. It coming! Oh, okay. I took him out before he dropped. It coming! Whoa! See, I'm like, that crosshair just too dang slow. It's like, that, that, that gets you killed. We're under heavy fire. Soldiers to deal with, we got tanks, we got jets, helicopters. I'm just one guy here, you know? <laughs> Yay. That's why sometimes you just gotta you just gotta start heaving grenades and then that'll clear it out a little bit. Some of those guys have vests uh, on. Two players 
definitely would help on this team. But yeah, I wish there was more third-person shooters. Get some extra grenades. You can avoid it. You can avoid attacks, but or dim helicopters and stuff. You can't. You can't do nothing to avoid them. Doctor Muckley's daughter Nancy was taken with Doctor Muckley. They're coming again. There are too many of them. Whoa! Check this out. Look at this. Look at this insanity. And it continues again. get to start at the box. Hey, it's a nightmare. 
But I still dig it, right? It's still fun. <laughs> That's the thing about it. It's still enjoyable because you can continue and, you know, keep moving on. But, but yeah, sometimes you just gotta, there ain't much you can do to avoid that, you know, to avoid that many fire. That looks like a woman up there. Oh, she is definitely Nancy Muckley.
continues our kids. All right, I'm going to try to press <laughs> press start on the second player button here and to see if I can uh, get get me past this boss. Oh, she is up. <laughs> <laughs> to do this, it's like crazy. Tell us, how do you know our plan? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, I know, I know. Your communications have been intercepted because... Enemy's commander was hit by a sniper, but we still got some info. The laser weapon Dr. Muckley is building is near completion at the enemy camp. We went to the enemy camp, even though we knew it would be dangerous. Ooh, I think this might be the last level here. But yeah, if you had two players on this game, you could probably... Do a lot better. Look at this. It's like I'm just trying to get a shot off. Yeah, I've, I've researched it. I've tried to look and see if there's any kind of cheats or... So you could make it a little easier on yourself. Like speed up the crosshair or give you more lives or, you know, something.
can't stay in one spot for very long or else you're gonna die in the water. Look at that, see, I'm trying to just destroy those helicopters. Long enough to throw a couple of grenades and that's it. By the time you move, then your crosshair is out of position. Then you got to bring your crosshair back. It's like then they're freaking firing on you. Shoot that guy. Look, he's still, look, look at all that. Just, just to kill that one regular soldier. Okay, we're coming up on the last boss now. Final boss of the game. This is a, this is as far as I got. I haven't got past this. Fight this big robot guy. Well, first you gotta fight these. First you fight him in a wheelchair. He comes out. The Dr. Buckley. boss of the game and I've never beat it beat it we'll try it one more time Controls on the Wii, just like a, it's too awkward to try to run because the button is, you know, I just, it's just hard to do. I can't. To a bullet, one, you know, they should at least give you like a power meter in this game. Like, it's like, man, the, the one hit death, it's like, that's just too brutal. That's just too hard. If they're gonna, you know. <laughs> Shit. You fucking you move and you you walk right into a rocket, you know.
yeah, the, the level itself is brutal enough. Then the boss, right? And when the boss kills you, you can't continue back as a boss. You gotta do the whole level over again. So it's like I don't I don't see any I don't see doing it. No one can stop me. <laughs> He can fire grenades out of his darn. review and play of Knob 1975. It is it's it's fun it's fun at one point, you know, it's part of it's fun. I'm just gonna pause it here. There we go. Yeah, it's fun on one hand. The, I like the game. I like the. I like the game. It's just, gosh, it's so too darn difficult. That's you know I like it's it's kind of like a mixed bat. It's I got mixed feelings about it. It's like I love the graphics. I love the sound effects. You know. I give that all that a thumbs up. But the difficulty is just ratcheted up way too much. Way too much. It's like, it's like if you guys know any cheats for this game, please let me know in the comments below because I just can't never see beating the game. I mean, that's the last boss of the game, too. That's the thing. It's like I, I get there, you're that close, but you, you, can, see for, you, you can see for yourself how devastating... His attacks are, and you try to run. I'm, I'm going to have to look up on YouTube and see if anybody can beat this game like without some kind of cheats. Because you know, I'm just playing this on the Wii, so I there's I can't, you know, really much I can do unless there would be some kind of code you could enter. Uh, other than that, like some people might like download a ROM, and they can like do cheats that way. You know, do anything they want, make themselves invincible. But when you're playing it like on the Wii like I am or like the because playing it on the Wii is basically like playing it at the arcade or the the physical hard copy there's no like you know secret menu screen you can uh, access as far as I know but yeah I, I like the game it's my style third person shooter arcade but jeez is it like you just well you saw you saw for yourself it's like it's you get you get uh there's just so many enemies and so much, you know, so many things to worry about. So many enemies and they're all so easy to get obliterated on this game. It's like they just, and they just keep coming, right? <laughs> so I revisit this game every so often just because I do like the gameplay. It's like, you know, I get so far in the game, but then once the, this last couple levels, it's like, all right, I've had enough. I've got my fix. So that's 
you know, see you in another, see, you know, so I'll see you in another six months or something like that. But yeah, if you guys ever seen this game or played it yourself, let me know. And if you've ever beat it, let me know. It's uh, especially you Neo Geo fans out there, you probably know about this game. It's like, is there any hacks to this game that you know that you know I could use, right? If you if you if you do. I'd be much obliged if you could uh, pass them along to me. Because it be, would be nice to beat this game myself. I I don't think I've even never seen it beat on YouTube. I probably could you know, go on there and find a video and, and find it. It'd be nice. Maybe, that might be the only way I can see the ending. You know, Because <laughs> I... I've even... Rep you know, I, I've continued from this point many times. i fought that last boss many times. And... And who knows, maybe if you destroy that big machine he's in, maybe there's something else after that. I don't actually don't know. But it's like, wow, that last level. That last two levels, really. But other than that, the, before before the last two levels, I, it's like, it's still difficult, but I still dig it. I can still continue and make progress. But, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. Um... I wish I could beat this game for you so I could show you the ending, you know. I always like doing that if I can. But, unfortunately, my skills are, I'm not that much of, I'm not that much of a, you know, I'm not that much of a ninja at this game. If I was a true ninja at this game, then, you know, I'm sure there's people out there that can really, you know, master, have the, have this game mastered and they can whip right through it maybe. But, at my point in my life, you know, I'm middle-aged here, push, I'm 47, so my uh, reflexes and, you know, <laughs> aren't what they used to be, so maybe, so it's like, I, I need some help nowadays, right? <laughs> so anyways, leave me your thoughts in the comments below, that's going to do it for the video tonight, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, but if this is your first time to the channel, tap the subscribe button and the bell next to it, ding, ding. That way you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys. Keep it retro.